Now we are going to talk about the cytoskeleton, the skeleton of the cell, cyto of the cell, skeleton, the framework that supports the cell. Cytoskeleton is the system that su gives support to the cell and uh, help the cell in its own movements. It also helps different organelles inside the cell uh, to move from one place to another place when this is required. Cytoskeleton consists of three types of fibers. One is called microtubules, the other is called microfilaments, the third is called intermediate filaments. We talk about them one by one. The microtubules, these are the largest in diameter. Uh, and microtubules are hollow from inside. Uh, their generalized diameter is uh, about 20 nanometers. Uh, but uh, remember, then when we are talking about the size of different cytoskeletal elements, we are only referring or talking about their diameter and not their length. Because lengths of these fibers are different from each other. Uh, but their diameter is, uh, their size actually refer to only their diameter. So microtubules in comparison to other are the largest, they have about 20 nanometer diameter, but they are hollow from the inside. They consist of a protein that is called tubulin. Tubulin, um, tubulin molecules are of two types, alpha tubulin and beta tubulin. They join together to make the tubulin dimer. Dimer means that it is, uh, it is made up of two uh, tubulin molecules. These dimers later on uh, join together to make long hollow tubes called microtubules. Uh, the other one is called microfilament. These are the smallest among cytoskeletal elements. Microfilaments are about 7 nanometers in their diameter. Uh, and uh, they consist of a protein called actin. Actin molecules are arranged um, in the form of beads uh, and uh, there are two bead based chains uh, wound around each other to make a helix. We call it an actin subunit. The diameter of this subunit is 7 nanometers. Again, their lengths may vary. Then comes the third. These are called intermediate filaments. Intermediate filaments uh, consist of a particular family of protein called the keratin. Uh, keratins are the same proteins which make our nails, for example, the harder parts. It means these are tough, tough protein. The keratin family of proteins, different types of keratins join to make uh, intermediate filament. Uh, it specifies their function. They give support. Though, uh, there are, uh, now we talk about the functions of these um, uh, cytoskeletal uh, elements or we can call them cytoskeletal uh, fibers. Uh, cytoskeletal elements, they have one major function that is giving shape to the cell, giving support to the cell, support to its different organelles, keep them in place and movement. We have a look on the diagrams which shows uh, structures, generalized structures of uh, these cytoskeletal elements. Here in the diagram, it shows you the structure of a microtubule. Microtubule, as uh, I described previously, consists of tubulin diameter, and then these diameters are arranged in a circular fashion to make a long hollow tube. Length of these tubes depends upon how and which part of cell require them, for how long they are required. Uh, for example, if they are cell is using these microtubules for transport of an organelle, say a mitochondria, from one place to another, then the length of microtubule will depend upon the distance from the point 1, from where mitochondria have to be taken up and till point 2, where mitochondria have to be placed. In the second diagram, you can see microfilament. Microfilament is an actin subunit, as you can see, it's a helical chain. In the third diagram, you can see the structure of an intermediate filament on the right. Uh, their uh, diameter is about 10 nanometers and they consist of fibrous proteins which initially uh, their monomers that is smallest molecules join together 
to make a dimer, dimers join together to make tetramers, tetra means four, and these tetramers then join to make sheets, and these sheets are wrapped around each other, as you can see in the diagram, to make a thick and tough fiber, which is called intermediate filament. Now look at the diagrams which are colored. These are the pictures. If we want to know that in a cell, where at which places the cytoskeleton is present, we can stain them because you know that uh, the microtubule consists of tubulin, which is a protein. Microfilament consists of another protein called actin. And uh, the intermediate filaments also consist of various proteins. So if we stain our cells, we give them a color by using anti-tubulin antibody, anti-actin antibody or anti-keratin antibody, then we can look at them that where these elements are present. The pictures above, which are not diagrams, but pictures taken through fluorescent microscopy shows that uh, cytoskeletal elements are present almost everywhere in the cell. The first diagram shows that in blue color, you can see the nucleus. In green color surrounding them are microtubules. In the second picture, you can see that we stained it, uh, the cell with anti-actin antibody and uh, it shows that in almost all part of the cells, these actin filaments are spreaded. So it means that cytoskeletal elements are present almost everywhere in the cell and support all parts of the cell. In the third diagrams, you can again see inside nucleus in orange color and uh, in green color, different types of intermediate filaments. This is uh, another picture taken more closely in which you can see various cells which have uh, nuclei in blue color and in green color, they have uh, microtubules and in red color, they have actin. That is, these are stained for microtubules, actins, intermediate filaments, all of these. You can see that in a cell, the cytoskeletal elements are spreaded everywhere. It means that they can support almost every structure of the cell, the organelles, the nucleus, the cell membrane, and the others. And also, they can help in movements of organelles of the cell itself when required. Here is a closer diagram in which you can see uh, that uh, there is a mitochondria inside in a green color. Upper is the cell membrane and above and below the mitochondria, there are different types of filaments which are attached on one side to the mitochondria and they are attached on other side to different other filaments or to the endoplasmic reticulum or to the cell membrane. Actually, mitochondria are kept in their place with the help of these different types of cytoskeletal elements, some actin filaments, uh, the microfilaments, some microtubules and some of the microfilaments. Here is another view of the same thing. Here you can again see uh, cell membrane, endoplasmic reticulum. From another view, you can say about roughly surface view, you can see the same thing, the endoplasmic reticulum the microtubules, the microfilament and one micro mitochondria entangled in them. Just like mitochondria, other organelles are also kept in place. Uh, they are also kept in place with the help of these cytoskeletal elements. And whenever they need to move, for example, if energy is required, because you know mitochondria produces energy molecules, if energy is required in uh, another part of cell, then mitochondria will be transported from this part to the other part of cell. And these uh, mitochondria will be moved with the help of the microtubules.